it's Eric and today in this video I wanted to talk to you about the different ways that I connect with the goddess Freya. One of the biggest ways that I connect with the goddess Freya is through decorating, uh, mostly through like home decor and creating like beautiful spaces, especially also with altar work, like creating new altar setups. Um, I really love creating like beautiful spaces and allowing myself to be creative in that way. But recently, this new way of connecting with the goddess Freya has kind of, I don't know, like elevated the, the intimate relationship part of it, of getting to know one another. So what I've done is that I'll call on the goddess Freya when I get out of the shower, actually in the shower when I'm shampooing my hair, I call her to in that space um, to cleanse my, my body, to exfoliate my skincare, uh, making sure I'm using the, the best products for me. But most importantly, it has been the connection with my hair. Whenever I, I start styling my hair, it feels so sacred. It's such a weird experience, but it almost feels like it's not really my hair. I've been calling it, Fre uh, I've been calling it Freya's hair. Because every time I comb it, or even when I'm shampooing it, or paying attention, nurturing my hair, um, I think of her. And so I wanted to dedicate this, this video to that specific process, to my hair, technically Freya's hair, and kind of diving deeper in, in what that means. All right, so I bought this little brush on Amazon. I believe it was like 12 bucks. I'll put the link below, but I believe it's meant for a child, <laughs> but it's going to work for me. It should be fine. We'll make it work. Um, but I liked it because it was in the shape of a, of a cat and it had boar bristles. Um, and I think that would work perfectly with Freya as she is known for her, her cats and for her love of boars. So yeah, we'll see how this works out. Um, I decided to do kind of like a wood burning vibe. I don't have a wood burning kit or tool, so I'm using acrylic paint to kind of give it that, that same kind of energy and vibe. And I think it will turn out pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna do a lot of gold in it. I'm just gonna do the handle here um, as you see now, but I am pretty happy with the way it came out. And I'm just gonna spray a little bit of UV protectant on it to make sure that it doesn't uh mess up but this is what it looks like so my intentions is to use this brush daily in a form of a ritual and while i'm brushing my hair i am calling down freya and i'm using a chant that i wrote down myself um, that you can see here on screen and i'm just going to repeat that process in hopes to connect and have more of a spiritual deep connection with freya and my hair All right, you guys, so I just finished um, my ritual that I did, and it's not nothing major or anything, but um, I did set up the altar space for Freya. I have some kind of like wildflowers here, and I have the brush that I made, and I have this really, one of, probably my, one of my favorite wines. It's a glass bottle but there's a flower etch at the bottom it's really pretty so i did that as an offering i had some for myself put some in there and yeah and i sat here and i wrote uh freya my poem that i wrote for her uh this is something i shared on my instagram uh this is one for loki and I found this image here that I really liked and I thought when I was thinking of Freya and how I could dedicate uh, a page in here for her, it, it felt very like a, like a fairy tale and so I wanted this to look like a, something out of like a fairy tale. Um, and so I just kind of wrote this for her and um, officially presented it here for her. Uh, and. I'll read it for you guys because I don't think I've shared it on YouTube. Actually, I'm sh pretty sure I have not shared it on YouTube, but um, it says, Health Goddess... <clears throat> Let me start over. Hell Goddess Freya, Queen of the Valkyrior, Goddess of Beauty 
and of all things luxurious, goddess of war, death, and victory, she who cries golden tears, whose voice can seduce and enchant any man or woman, whose aroma is as sweet as honey, whose fires burn brighter and warmer than all of Muspelheim, she who glistens like amber held up towards the sun, whose magic is powerful and transformative, she who has taught Odin himself the ways of Seder, she who is sought by many and loved by all. Beloved goddess Freya, I am bewitched by you. I call to you for your guidance to seek, to know, to will, to dare, and when to keep silent. May you bless me with your gifts to love myself, to be passionate, to be sensual, to be beautiful, to be confident, to learn and grow in my magic, to stand up for my truth, to fight for myself and my loved ones, to be brave, fierce, and strong, to be independent. Hail to you, Goddess Freya. And what I also did, um, I did this page this morning, just co copied and pasted some photos that I liked, and I entered, um, well, actually, if I show you here, it's like a older witch combing the hair of a young girl. And so this is the image that I resonated with, with the purpose that I wanted to do with the, the brush. And I wrote down the, uh, the chant that I want, which you saw earlier. Uh, Freya's hair. Freya, bless my hair. I will care for it. This I swear. Make it long, thick, and full. Shine so healthy so beautiful so that is it so these are the different ways that i connect with the goddess freya which is like i mentioned in the video through decorating through pretty much health and fitness and beauty through magic um something i haven't dived too much into this video is the magic portion of how i connect with freya as well as through sex magic because i feel like those are other videos on their on their own so uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to sit here a little bit longer um, and just enjoy the moment. Thank you guys so much. Take care.